So, let's see. Pop. Anybody here? I'm going to wait a few minutes before I start. So, hi guys, welcome back to IVJ TV. So, today I decided to come live and um, show you guys on how to make a hairband wig with bangs inexpensive way to save money like so um i got my stuff ready i will just live on instagram i have two people in here i'm just going to wait a little bit more to see if anybody's going to tune in let's see i have five people right now say hi guys say hi anybody has question so welcome back to my channel i was here yesterday and show you guys how i installed this week to, for you guys yesterday and i was a complete mess it was a complete mess because i was so nervous so today i'm back somebody requested that i do uh, a week tutorial on life so i decided i've over i wanted to change my old wig I have this tutorial on my website not on my website gosh I have this on uh, on my YouTube how I created this hairband wig um, everything I use on this hairband wig is on the description box on that video the only thing that wasn't there was this um, hairband that I used this was a leftover I, I got so much so so much uh, messages about what kind of fabric i use to create the wig the the band so this was a leftover fabric um that i had um many many years ago there was a time in my life that i was interested in uh sewing so i'll go around and buy a whole bunch of fabric i have so much fabric still left left in the house and this was one of them so this is a very stretchy material so if you're going to create a hairband wig i have i currently you can use something like this like a wig grip yes i'm going to try it again <laughs> yes yes um you can use this i currently have this on my website this is very stretchy it has you you can um adjust the headband you know it has a velcro so that you can adjust it so you can use this to create your headband wig if you go back on my uh previous video when i created this wig um i use this material but you can use this one as well i have this available right now on my website you can go ahead and grab you one it's very inexpensive like doesn't cost much and you can use any hair of your choice um my previous video i use expression braided hair if you know one of my favorite braiding um, extension is expression i love expression because you can create so many things with expression you can curl it up and put it in water and you get a completely different hair uh, like hairstyle from um, expression i love expression and what else you need a crochet hook um i also have a crochet hook i have different size um you need a crochet hook like this this is also on my website if you guys are interested so everything that i'm using you can find majority of them on my website i have this you can use the wig grip to create the as the um the band you can use this as the band and it's very inexpensive i have this on my website if you're interested as well it's very inexpensive to create things like this i never bought any hairband wig it, like during quarantine like during covid people were going for hairband wig and i didn't want to spend so much money uh, buying a wig so because i felt like i could create my own and because you don't wait that much and like you didn't really need that much to 
to create one so i'm like okay let me just create my own and i hope when i did this a lot of people were so happy and i got a lot of um great feedback from this so what i'm going to be doing today is i want to put some bangs on this hairband wig i'm just going to switch it up a little bit i want to put some bangs on it because i've been seeing a lot of um hairband wigs with bangs so i'm showing you guys a cheaper way uh inexpensive way that you can hone an airband wig with bangs without spending too much money i know some of these airband wigs can be very very expensive if you don't have the money to spend and to go buy a hairband wig you can create one yourself so um I want to stop talking if you guys have any questions let me know anybody has question uh, how did you attach the band um, okay what I'm going to do I'm going to take it off what I did when I was done um, crocheting all the hair you can also use like if you have um, leftover hair or hair that you don't use again like you're not using you can use that to create your hairband like you can use that to create your wig i use um extension like very cheap extension because you know what i don't really use the hairband wig that much but if you want you can use your leftover uh brazilian hair um peruvian hair any kind of hair of your choice you can use that so when i was done creating this wig i just when I and so you can you can hand sew the band on the wig or you can if you have a um, sewing machine you can use a sewing machine to um, attach the band on your wig so it's really really easy so let me put this back on I hope I answer your question well let me put this back on i'm going to brush it out and i'm going to create my bangs i really wanted to try this out um, i haven't done it before this will be my very first time i wanted to come in here so that we can learn together and create these things together so i'm just going to move my mannequin backward if you guys have questions please do not hesitate to ask me any question of this wig I'll try my best to answer every, anybody. So I'm just coming out. And when I finish with this wig, let me see. To the back? No, I didn't attach the, it's, it's, it only comes from, from one side of your head to the other side. Like from here to here, that is where you want to attach the head, the band. Then you can, tied at the back so that is what i did i i hope i'm let me see i hope i'm answering your question right how did you attach the band i sew it on yeah yeah i did so i just sew it on like i hand sew it because my machine my sewing machine is like giving me a hard time so i'm just brushing the hair out and the color that i used for this week was red and black because I usually use um, black color, so this time I decided to like take another, like try another color, try different colors. So I'm just combing this out. As you can see, I didn't do anything to this hair so far, like I didn't put in water or anything. This is how it looks. So I'm going to take it off the mannequin. No, before I do, I'm going to mark how far I want my bangs to come out from. So my bangs, I want my bangs from here to here. So I want my bangs to fall from my um, this side of my eyebrow to like from eyebrow to eyebrow. And that is how far I want my bangs. And I want to mark it right here on my wig. And so that when I flip it over, I know well, when I flip it over, I won't even be no, 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 no. Okay, let me flip it over first. So, guys, am I, are you guys understanding what I'm trying to um, explain or what I'm trying to say or what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to create a, a bang on the wig that I had before. So, that is what I'm doing.
I'm not as nervous as yesterday. I think I'm getting, I'm getting better. Like I'm not as nervous and I'm shaking or all that. I have two people viewing. Thank you guys for staying. I'm grateful. Oh, the wig cap I'm using, I'm going to show you guys. I can find the wig cap that I use is the one that has like um, space like holes not the not okay I have this three different wig cap that you could use but this will be the best option if you have if you're doing a crochet um, if you're doing exactly the one I have right here this would be the better one because it has um, different size of holes that you can just attach your um, extension to there's another one that i have cap this one has a lace mesh this is not the best one to use to create something like this especially I don't know if you guys can see the wig I'm trying to position so um this would not be the best to use for this kind of wig because you're going to struggle to try and get your um, crochet hook through the net this is good for braided wig like this and like if you're doing a proper um, lace wig the best one I would say you can use the ones that has this is available on my website if you're interested you can use something like this as you can see the holes are very tiny and it's really easy to put the crochet hook through it it's easy to put, put the crochet hook and attach your hair as you can see here um, something like this would not be the best option so this one is even the holes on this wig cap is wider than this one so if you can get anything like this will be perfect if you can find it something like this would be also good this is also available on my website guys this is very this is inexpensive so you can use this to create this one so how if i were to put the the amount together how much i spend in creating this less than ten dollars a pack of hair was like a 5.99 the recap was um i think 5.99 as well and that was it i have this at home and you don't actually need much to create this wig so i'm just going to create my bangs and i want my bangs to be let me secure this down i don't know if I'm, you guys can see are you seeing properly so i'm securing this down so i want my bangs so i'm just going to attach my bang right from this from um eyebrow to eyebrow if i'm explaining that properly guys i'm sorry so you're going to attach the your extension if you're sewing it in you can just sew like um two three strength on it then you flip it over i'm using i'm going to be crocheting mine so i have this thread spool i think that is what it's called this is your if you're new to braiding hair or you just want your job to be easier guys you need to grab something like this by the time like if you if you want to do 
single braid, twist, whatever you want to do. You want to section all your hair out and it's faster that way instead of um, having to stop and section hair out. So this would be very useful if you're somebody who braids all the time or do hair for people. So I'm just putting this on this chair. Okay, guys, ask questions, ask questions. It's helping me actually to calm myself. Like if I'm talking, I feel like I'm more calm and I'm more, I don't know how to put it. Like <laughs> I know what I'm doing somehow, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just attach some extension, like crochet some extension from here to here. And I'm going to flip the wig over. Guys, this is my first time trying this out. I just wanted to see how it's going to look like, if it's going to look okay. Because I saw, um, I watched one video from Omoni Cause and she was wearing a hairband wig. It was really, really full. It was really really full and I wanted like I wanted a hairband wig with the bang. So you want to loop it through the hole twice. Hi guys. Hi Adi. Welcome to my life. So today I'm just coming live to show you guys um, how I'm upgrading my headband wig that I did before to a headband wig with a bang. So that is what I'm doing right now. Thank you for coming. If you have any question, leave it. I'm going to answer it. Happy to see you live. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy that you're tuning in. I'll, I'll try my best to be doing live video right now and more instead of just uploading and so. I have a titangling brush. I just want to brush it out. This is also on my website, guys. If you have ordered anything from me, guys, I am grateful. I am really happy for all your support, for all your orders. And if you have ordered anything from me before, please, I will be more happy if you leave a feedback on my website just to give me so that my, my customers will know that, you know what? Customers or people love her product. If you were not here yesterday, I installed this wig yesterday. It's available on my website. So this wig is currently available for $120. You can go and grab yours. It's inexpensive, like, I won't say inexpensive, but it's not that bad. And you can wear it over and over and over and again. And if you're somebody who doesn't like to sit down braiding your hair, or who, if you're somebody who struggle with no edges like me like guys i've been trying to grow my edges for like since i was a kid so i just brush it out I don't know if you guys are seeing, I'm just crocheting hair 
um, along the line here on the recap. And when I'm done, I'm going to flip it over and create my bangs. Does anybody have question? I love, I would love to see what you guys are thinking. Guys, one question, would you create a wig like this? Um, whenever I post videos on um, crochet wig, I get some comment, no ma'am, I won't want one. Um, this looks trashy or something like, some comment I get, I'm like, Did you make jacket? Let me read that again. Run off so quick. Did I? Yeah, I'm. I'm still okay. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Um, today I'm not that. I'm not that nervous. I'm getting better. I really want to start doing life more because I feel like ah. Uh, recording a video and editing it and uploading it i'm not really um communicating with my subscriber that much so it's like i want to know you guys a little bit more we can have like friendship like <laughs> we can have conversation you guys can ask me anything suggestion you know what oh, let me see these things go by, they go so fast. Like when I get questions from you guys, they go so fast. Okay, what do you say? Your hair looks so... I will check it. Oh, thank you so much. That would mean a lot to me. Guys, thank you so, so much for every single one of you guys that is, um, that order anything from me. Anything, a recap, a wig anything i'm grateful for that so i think this should be enough i don't want it to be too full i'm going to flip the wig over and see how it looks like and as i mentioned before guys you can use any extension of your choice you can use coily hair you can use straight hair you can use bundles oh thank you so much ah Thank you so much. I know a lot of a lot of people who I'm like have like been subscribing to me for many many years. They do message me if they don't see any content from me, and I'm grateful for that. So I'm just going to flip it over. I don't know if I should add more hair or not. Let's see if I should. Oh gosh, guys, look at that. Look at that hairband wig without spending that much money let's see if i have to add more if i have to add more i'll just flip it over again if not what do you guys think should i add more oh i think it's perfect this way i think it's perfect what do you guys think should i add more um extension to the bank or do you guys think it's okay let me know, give me your feedback. Here you have your headband wig with a bang. <laughs> Simple, easy, inexpensive. You don't have to spend so much money. <sighs> add more, okay? I'm going to add a little bit more. So, cut it. Maybe I should add one more row. And Ah, oh, this is okay. All right, this is a mess right now. I'm trying to secure this on so I can show you guys. Yeah, I think I should add more because look at this. There's still space in here, so if I add more, so you have your headband wig with a bang. Look at that. So I'm going to add one more row. Flip it over again. Guys, I love to create. I am I'm, I'm somebody who is very creative. Like if I see something, I'm always thinking of ways 
I can create that thing or I can improve that thing. I love to create. Like I'm I'm not the person to jump into something quick. Like I I've always find I like I always find ways to look how I can improve it or make it look better. So yeah, I'm I'm very creative. Make it thicker. Okay. I'll make it thicker. See? We are all learning together. <laughs> oh my god. The only disadvantage of using hair like this is that they get tangled so easily. But if you have um bundles that you don't use or that you have in your house, you can use the bundles to create this. You know? You can get I have bundles on my website if you're interested, <laughs> guys. So you can use bundles and it looks more natural and it's you're still saving money if you were to purchase it from anywhere. Alright. So I'm going to make maybe two more lines. Oh thank thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm so grateful for every single one of my subscribers, my followers. Um, I notice I get a lot of messages or oh, that, that people are leaving a comment. Thank you so much for teaching me how to braid, how to condo, how to make wigs. Guys, if it was not for, me, for you guys, I won't be here. Like, <laughs> I won't be here. So I'm grateful to you guys too for tuning in, for watching, for leaving comments, feedbacks, you know. Oh my goodness, this mannequin um, head is not functioning today. This tripod is not functioning. And there was so much money I spent on this tripod. And it's been giving me problems from day one. Like from day one. So I'm just going to add more. more extension here I'm just going to section a little bit more out because I didn't think I'm going to use that much but I think I had to add more extension I've been talking for 28 minutes oh my gosh this is are you guys liking the life are you guys um, okay Do you guys want me to be doing more life or you just want me to upload video and put it up for you guys the thing is about uh, the thing about me is that when I have ideas I like to like I like to do it and get it over with anything I like I'm a procrastinator I procrastinate anything I'm doing if I don't do it immediately I end up not doing it that is just me I end up not doing it so anything I'm doing any idea I have I have to do it immediately otherwise I end up not doing it I end up not doing it so for me life is good life I would prefer more to be live than doing tutorials because when I do tutorials sometimes I, I, I put my I, like I schedule myself to do a tutorial and I end up not doing it I end up just doing something else so you see I'm just sectioning the hair out and I'm putting it on the thread spool I think that is what it's called. If you guys are interested, I'll see if I can find a link of this and I'll put it on the description box. This is really helpful, guys. If you're a hairdresser, if you braid people's hair, this is really, really good because this will save you a whole lot of time and stress. At least you can measure your extension um, the same size because if you were to give it to somebody else, sometimes when they're giving you an extension, it doesn't match the size like the sizes doesn't match so I do one more roll and I'm done do I have any other question do I have questions
Oh yeah, I love <laughs> Yeah, I love wigs. I love to do wigs. I love wigs. Like I I think like wigs is time saving is um money saving. What else? Like sitting down or book an appointment to go and get your hair done. And guys, if you don't know, my hair is my head is like my scalp is sensitive like if i'm doing my own hair i'm still like like my head is really really uh, sensitive so not a lot of people i can't even remember the last time i got my hair done that should be maybe five six years ago like somebody touched my head and braid or cornrow my head like I don't usually let, um, let people touch my hair because I have sensitive scarf. Like my head is really, really sensitive. Like just by touching it, I can do it. So that's the reason sometimes I get so upset. No, not really upset. When people leave a comment on my channel, you're pulling out her edges. Every single client that I've worked with so far, nobody. Before I start doing your hair, I ask questions. I ask what you want and um, I know a lot of people are complaining oh you're braiding my edges um, they will ask you to braid their edges they'll be like can you please <laughs> braid my head so you have to do what people want to do even though you they are pay, um, you're the one doing it they are paying for your service so you have to do what people want to do so my head is my hands are not tight on head at all um, I mostly do kids hair hello Teresa good morning thank you for tuning in today so my hands are very 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 light and soft on people's head so if I can get one of my clients or one of um, the people that I did their hair so far maybe I can do an interview with them honest interview for them to give you guys some feedback on um, the tightness of my hands on people's head I don't know um, maybe you guys will, will know that my hands are not tight. Like I don't go uh, pulling out people's edges and damaging people's hair. No, no, that is not me. Because me myself, I have sensitive, very sensitive scalp, and I don't respond to comment like that because you know what? People will say and think whatever they want, but. You know I don't respond so I think a few more and I should be done I don't want it that full at the front all right anybody has questions Anybody's planning to start YouTube and any YouTube advice that you want from me I started my YouTube four years ago and a friend of mine actually put me to it and her name is Ama no, would I say put me to it we were planning to start YouTube together and I end up starting YouTube and she was the one encouraging me to do hair tutorial because I started with makeup and she's like, Ivy, why don't you just do hair? You're good in doing hair. Why don't you just teach people how to do hair? So that is how I started my YouTube um, channel. And my YouTube uh, didn't grow until I think about six months after I started seeing uh, views and subscribers coming into my YouTube. So I think this should be enough. What do you guys think? This should be enough. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it over and see if we can cut the bangs. And I don't actually know what's going on on YouTube right now because whenever I upload a video, I don't even get up to a thousand views. 
um, on YouTube. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I don't know what the problem is. Guys, if you subscribe to me, please push the notification button um, so that whenever I upload, you get a notification. Um, I don't know if it's YouTube, if it's me, what I'm doing. If you guys want any other videos that you guys are interested in or my videos are no longer interesting and you guys just want something else, let me know and you know we're all trying all right guys what do you guys think how is the bang is it full enough now oh. i'm going to use the white to comb to brush it up i'm trying to really move this back Uh, what time is it over here? Let me see. Mm. It's also one thirty right here. Where are you from? Like where you, where 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 are you from? What country? I'm in Canada and currently it's one thirty as well here. So guys, here you have your own crocheted headband wig with a bang or uh, with bangs and you can go ahead and cut it to your style or yeah you can go ahead and cut it I'm going to cut mine mm, I think I should put it on my head before I cut it but I'm just going to try it out and see I'm not going to cut it too short so when I put it on if I have to adjust it I can still adjust it later on. So I'm going to use an eyebrow shipper um, to do my bangs because I don't want like a straight bang. Basically. I find one so you can use this to cut your bangs so I don't want it too short for now because when I when if I put it on my head I will be able to at least um, adjust it if it's too long but if it's too short just broke I need a new one Where's the second one? It just broke. Uh, let me see. Let me see which one. Let me see if this one will work. And it's also not sharp. Come on. Where's the leg with the I have I think I have more than three. So, so two is not working properly. One broke, one is not working. So let me try this one. If you want you can cut this you can just um if you have um straw um i have a tutorial on how to use straw to create cords on your um hair extension if you have um what is it called i hope i'm still in. are you guys seeing what i'm doing i'm so sorry guys like i'm trying to position this put this you guys see what I'm doing so I'm trying to create my my bangs I don't want it too short so when I put it on my head I can always adjust it but if it's too short
guys please share my videos um with your friends and family i want to get to fifty thousand. i'm currently at 45 000 followers or subscribers please share my videos follow me on my instagram page i'm posting them more often i'm going to be more active here now um if i don't post like regular tutorial i can just come in here on live and do a week with you guys look at this guys so i think i still have to cut it a little bit more where's my detangling brush so, it's still too long but i'm scared to cut it too short like shorter so when i'm putting it on my head it's not too short and i can always cut it more Shorter. It's going to do the same thing at the other side. Um, do you, are you guys interested in me putting this on, like doing a tutorial on how I put this on? Um, I can film the tutorial today and it should be up by tomorrow. The thing about editing, editing takes forever. Like to edit a video, sometimes it can take me um, eight hours, depending on what I'm doing. It takes forever to edit a video. So... If you guys are interested in that, look at that. We're going to brush this all out. And voila. And here you have, you can go ahead and use flat iron to like curve it in a little bit. Um, I'll say put this on your head. What did she say? Let me read it again. Uh, I finished. I've seen this before. I cut my pen. Yeah. So yeah, I'm scared too. So I don't like to cut my bangs too short, especially when it's not on my head because you don't want to cut it too short. And by the time you put it on, it's all. You can always cut it shorter, but you can like put it on. So this is how it looks with a bang. And this is how you can create your own um, headband for less than $15 with the bang, like less than $15. Guys, it didn't cost me that much to create this right now. And you don't need one pack of hair. I, I think mine was one pack because I really love, I love my hair full. Look at this, guys. You can create your own hairband wig with a band for less than, let's say less than $20, less than $15 and save yourself money. Look at that. Let me see. Take this out from my hair. And... Voila, we have it. So if you want to um, do more, you can take hot water. You can put hot water in a bowl and put some um, deep conditioner in there and dip, dip that into hot water and you, your hair is going to look like extension. This is how it looks. Simple DIY, very easy, very fast. It doesn't take so much time inexpensive way um let me see if i get a, if i can get a hairband a different color hairband so if you have a hairband like this you can get this at any store you can go ahead and put this on
just take a look at that guys inexpensive way to create your own urban league voila look at that we're done that is what i wanted to do today just show you guys how you can change or turn your old if you have a hair band wig already and you want to bang on it like if you have a hair band wig and you just want to have a, a, a bang on it if you have some extra leftover um, extensions you can just go ahead flip it over sew some tracks on it and you have your bangs on um on your wig so i hope you guys love this life i hope this was helpful thank you so much yeah i hope this was helpful thank you so much for tuning in and i'm going to let you guys go as i mentioned before you can go ahead and pour some hot water put it in a bowl put some deep conditioner in there and just dip this inside so by the time it let it dry let it dry and when you're done you can just brush this and voila you're all ready to go i hope you guys like it i hope this was helpful and i'm going to let you guys go i'm going to see if i can put this on for you guys and show you guys how it look on my head i'm currently wearing a wig i was supposed to take this down but um yesterday because i installed this yesterday and I just like, I was loving this week so much. I was like, nope, I'm not letting it go. I'm going to keep it on. This is on my website. Also guys, if you don't know, I already also have my own eyelash brand, IV Lashes. You can go ahead and grab some lashes from me and the other stuff from my website. Just go and check it out, guys. Give me feedback on my YouTube video, on my website and I'm happy to read all your comments, suggestion, and yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so for, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, guys, please, please push the subscribe button down below and also push the bell sign down below so that you get a notification whenever I upload a video. I'm really grateful for every single one of you guys that tune in today please if this was helpful share this with at least two people and yeah i'm going to let you guys go thank you so much for tuning in to ivj tv bye all right and